Uh, in 2008, Russia, the Russian State Department released a video called The Lessons of Byzantium. And in it, they go over the history of the Byzantine Empire. And they specifically say, Byzantium was great when they cared only about Byzantium. And they were, they fell when they listened to the West. They fell when they opened up to the West. Uh, all their problems started because they trusted the West. But the West is by nature, and they spent a long time on the Fourth Crusade. The West is by nature duplicitous and un untrustworthy. The message obviously was clear to, uh, to Putin and uh, Medvedev that if Russia wants to be great, it must close down. If Russia wants to be great, be like the Byzantines. Don't listen to the West. Go your own way. Greatness lies in identifying with our Easternness, our Orthodoxy, uh, and our Byzantine affiliation. Even after 500 years of being gone, the Byzantine Empire still casts a long shadow. Uh, and we would do well to learn more. Thank you. Sure, the, the art and architecture of the Byzantines. Uh, this is also very influential in the West, far beyond the borders of the Byzantine Empire. Um, the earliest example uh, is Justinian's Hagia Sophia, uh, which is a revolutionary building. It becomes the model for all Greek churches after that. Um, Byzantine artisans were sent all over the world. The Dome of the Rock, for example, uh, was uh, built using Byzantine craftsmen. Uh, you can see the Byzantine motif of the Hagia Sophia reflected in many mosques today. Uh, as far as their art is concerned, um, originally it, it, it's identical to Roman art because it, it is Roman. Um, but the Byzantines go through a period called iconoclasm. Uh, this was also a result of the horrendous losses to uh, the Arab armies. They, they came to the conclusion that the reason why they were losing is because they were worshipping images. They were spending too much uh, time and effort on icons. And Muslims, with their strict prohibition, cannot portray God because that's idolatry. Uh, they were successful, and obviously the reason why they were successful was because they were not uh, worshipping idols. So, for roughly 200 years, the Byzantines turned on their art and destroyed most of it. And um, sculpture seems to have been a casualty of this. Uh, it, it, you never really recover sculpture in the Byzantine Empire, all those Roman traditions. Uh, art after the iconoclastic controversy. Uh, Leo V, who I talked about, is one of the last uh, iconoclastic emperors. Um, uh, they, they focus much more on icons, becomes much more stylized, less realism um, afterwards. So, as far as the impact of Byzantine art, um, after the iconoclastic controversy, it sort of goes in its own direction. And before then, it's sort of hard to separate from Rome. Yes? This, this, this is a statement. Um, actually, the um, major holiday, uh, religious holiday in the Catholic Church is Easter. Easter, right. right. Thank you. Yeah, the major holiday is Easter. Uh, Leo, Leo's wife objected to him. Uh, I should have said it. It is a major holiday. Uh, but even if it was just a normal Sunday, I think she would have rejected and you can't take the sacrament and have her, but thank you for doing that. Yes. Yes, can you elaborate uh, the reason, uh, details of the spark 
on the schism in 1054. And, and who was the pope? And who was the emperor at that time? And make some difference about ceremonies and rituals of both churches. There was something more than right. conversion right. of the Balkans. I think yeah. that there was something about Trinity, right, right, right or wrong. Uh, right. Right. The, the question is what, what exactly split the church? Um, the East and the West were going different directions uh, relatively early on. Uh, but the, the official split, they excommunicated each other as early as uh, the 6th century. But the official split came in 1054, and it was over uh, creed. The, the creed is a statement of belief that all Christians share. It defines what makes a Christian. Uh, and the Spanish church in the 7th century had added several words to it. Uh, and the Greek church in Constantinople said, you can't add something. It's called the filioque. Uh, it's end the song. Uh, God the Father, God, the Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son, is what they were arguing <coughs> uh, But the, the Greek church said, you can't just arbitrarily add uh, words. You have to have a council. The whole church has to decide this. You don't get to just decide. The Pope's position was... Uh, since the Pope was, everyone acknowledged that the Pope is the most uh, august bishop of the church. The Pope said, well, I get to decide. I, I should be the final arbiter of it. I don't need a council. You know, Christ said that, you know, on this rock, St. Peter, I, I, the first Pope, you know, I will found my church, and therefore I should be the final arbiter. Uh, that was that was the the cause the official cause for the break. There were lots of little differences. Um, Greek priests tended to tonsure their heads differently. Uh, they were also allowed to marry. Uh, in the West, they weren't. During for communion, the Greek Church uh, used bread with yeast in it because it was uh, symbolizing the risen Christ, whereas the Western Church was holding more to the tradition of uh, the ancient Israelites with unleavened bread. Uh, they crossed themselves in different ways. They held their hands in different ways when they crossed themselves. Uh, little little things like this. But, uh, but the big thing really was the filial uh, It Does the Pope have the right to say, no, this is how it's going to be, or do we need to decide things in council? But when you say the filio is, in other words, Jesus was not the Son of, uh, was not God, and that, the mystery of the Trinity, in other words, right. that, that, that it was the manhood, it was the man and, and, not, uh, and not God. In other right. Words, there was a discussion of it. Right. There was a heresy uh, called Arianism, which taught that Jesus was a created being. He's more than man, but he's less than God. And so the Spanish church um, wanted to to say, no, Jesus is the equal of God. And to do that, they added the words that the Holy Spirit doesn't just proceed from God the Father, but he also proceeds from God the Son. He also proceeds from Jesus because they're equal. Uh, the Eastern Church agreed with this. There, you know, there really, there wasn't too much here to divide them. Um, but, nevertheless. 